Hello and welcome to the Sunbird Crochet Podcast. My name is Claudia and I'm coming to you from a very hot Germany. a knitting and crochet podcast mainly crochet and as you can see I've been busy I have for you two finished objects one work in progress or two and some incoming and what I'm wearing today is already the first finished object I'll get up for you because I put it on especially for the occasion. It's 30 degrees and more here right now. I'm sweaty. <laughs> so this won't stay on much longer, but let me just show you how it looks like. Yeah, I'm far too close. So let me insert a little video right here. This is my crochet cardigan. I didn't use any pattern. I started with the granny squares, I joined three of those together and they made the top of the sleeves. Then I extended them down here and I finished them off with a little border, which I've shown you last time, I believe. It's been a while, so yes, there is new content. Patience. <laughs> And uh, then I joined the sleeves to make the body. I connected them up here with um, a chain and then I worked into the chain and the bottom of the sleeves. I extended them and then I added some more fancy stitches. This is all cotton yarn. So I've used lots of leftover yarn and I finished it off with a, a moss stitch border. Um, yeah, so that's done and finished and uh, will be worn. It already has been worn on a garden party. But uh, yeah, that's one thing, done and dusted. And uh, next is this beauty here. I've been watching another podcaster. Her YouTube handle is Dynamite Trujillo. I will link it down below if I remember that is. And she made herself a sweater just with uh, trebles, that's US terms. And she was following a YouTube tutorial, which I will also link down below and where her colors were all autumnal and um, brownish reddish like fall colors um, i still had some leftover yarn in um, pinks and purples so i've started making one myself and today i've added the sleeves <coughs> Those are rather colorful, as you can see, and um, I've still left this here. haven't woven it in because this sweater is already claimed by my godchild. She's 16 and she might be watching. Hi! <laughs> so this is your new sweater. 
I left this so that we can adjust the length of the sleeves. And I will insert a picture here. I took some photos today of it and I must say this was so much fun. It's such a quick and easy project. It's a cropped sweater. It will go like probably just to the just over the belly button and the sleeves are to the wrist so um, yeah kind of bell sleeves I left them as they were and this is all chunky yarn sometimes I was using here for instance I was holding two strands of yarn together to get the same weight of yarn as the other ones were. You can look through it, let's see through slightly. So you will have to wear like a spaghetti top underneath. <laughs> I don't know if that's an English word, but uh, in German it's these um, tops with very thin um, straps. So that's spaghetti tops. <laughs> and yeah, I think that will be fine. I'm very happy with it and it was so much fun that I'm actually already on another one, this time for myself and I'm using fingering weight yarn, three strands of, strands of yarn held together and a four millimeter hook. So it will be a little bit less see-through but um, yeah, I'm, I'm. it grows so quickly, it's so much fun. I highly recommend this as a project for like a teenager who doesn't mind looking a bit funky or an adult who never left childhood behind. <laughs> like I am. So that's my second finished project. Very happy. I can't show you how it fits because this is not my size. So one of, maybe she will put it on and send me a photo at some stage if she does, you will get to see it. What else? Well, <laughs> shall we talk about works in progress? There's mainly just one I would like to talk about. And it's my plant color pooling yarn project. I'm using yarn from a German indie dyer called Don Röschens Keller and I've now started my third ball of yarn. I bought three and they have a sequence now and then. The main color is burgundy but now and then it starts to become a green pink green section which is very a short section but whenever I hit that color section I'm making a puff stitch in, and it's a shawl project, I should say. I'm using a four millimeter hook. Is it? Yes, it is. And this is my progress. It's grown quite a lot. I had put some markers in here. Let me see. Here, where I put the light pink marker. There. This is where I've used up my first ball of yarn and the next bit is the next bit is the next ball of yarn and now I'm on the third. The thing about the third is that um, the first two balls of yarn were almost exactly the same. You got the green, pink, green, like this kind of section here. But now the third ball of yarn, she mixed up her green section, so it's almost white. Um, I don't know if you can see it, the difference. So, um, <laughs> this is green pink and then this is almost white and sometimes she didn't make this green 
or left it white at all, but she put the burgundy here, which is a little bit odd and confusing. So I'm not happy with this ball of yarn, but it'll do. I will finish, I will finish the shawl. You can see it if you know, if you're looking for it, you can see it. Like here, there, there's a puff stitch where you can see it's, it's almost white. Whereas down below, you get the greens, not the whites, but it's, it's fine. It'll be fine. And anyway, when I'm wearing it, I'm going to scrunch it up and uh, it's going to be like this. It's almost big enough, but not quite. I want it to lie comfortably over my shoulders and um, yeah, almost there. So that's my, still my work in progress. I'm going to work on it tonight. What's tonight you're asking? Well, tonight is another craft night with Mariette. And I'm looking forward to seeing her. It has been such a long time and it's, it's in 45 minutes. So let's get cracking. Mariette is in South Africa and I'm going to link her podcast down below because she has a podcast on YouTube. I'm sure you are aware of her podcast. Well, I just want to talk a little bit about incoming. I have been shopping. I have, have been shopping quite a lot for my dollhouse or dollhouses, but that has to wait until things arrive. I've added a couple more felt mice, um, felted mice, but um, yeah, I rather show you everything in a dollhouse special, including some unboxing of previously owned dollhouse dolls and items, which are adorable, I believe. And, spoiler alert, I bought a dodo for my dollhouse. A dodo skeleton, that is. So, my Victorian gentleman, or Edwardian gentleman, has turned into quite a scientist. An amateur scientist, but a scientist, not the same. So, I've been at... Oh, it's called... Sis... Oh my goodness. Sustrin Green. <laughs> the Danish company. Uh, the Danish shop. Who have all kinds of things for your bath, your kitchen, your craft room. You name it, they've got it all. So I've bought a project bag because I don't have project bags. <laughs> No, this is special because it's it's a, like, um, it's not a print, it's like embroidery. Or it looks like that. Very nice. And inside, because we all also got yarn, so it's my favorite shop at the moment, I've bought some cotton yarn in wonderful, beautiful colors, which I haven't seen before. Um, in a light blue. I love that color. And then it goes over into a little bit of a more petrol blue. And I've also got like this blue with a slight tint of peacock. And then I've got this color, which is must be my favorite color, purpley pink. But I've also got a bit of a taupe color or greenish gray, which looks lovely. And i um, going to make myself some kind of top, maybe another cardigan or maybe this time a granny sweater, a raglan, a granny raglan sweater, something like that. And I've also still got some jeans blue cotton yarn from Rainbow. But this is the company um, 
Anna and Clara's something of a <laughs> company is called this. <laughs> okay. It's Danish. That's one of the incoming things. And another one. And the last one is Amigurumi, which I haven't made myself because it's too hard on my wrist. Um, it's from my favorite Amigurumi crocheter, who is living nearby. She is also Claudia, but her Etsy shop name is Lindmint. And I bought a gazelle from her before and some other animals all pick up how she also does other amigurumi and she sells shells, sells them for a reasonable price um, i mean if you can't do it yourself then i highly recommend her shop so i've bought <laughs> a hippo i have to complete my pick up how african animal collection right so this is this is little hippo it's a her, I believe. She has lovely trousers and <laughs> a dotted undergarment, which is so cute. And a bit of frills here on her jacket and her blush, her cheek blush and her nostrils. Cute little ears. And this is crocheted so tightly, you can't squeeze it. It's so, it's brilliant. So she's doing it the best way. And no, she doesn't wear underpants. <laughs> but this is just so cute with her little giraffe top. I don't have a giraffe yet, I just realized. So I've got, they are back there, you can't see them. Um, I've got the lion, I've got the zebra or zebra, I've got the hippo, I've got the cheetah and the gazelle. Um, I don't have a monkey and I don't have the elephant and I don't have a giraffe. Let me just check. Oh. And I've got the rhino. Yeah, I've also got other Amigurumi pick up our animals. But uh, yeah, these are my African animals. Love them. And I love this one. Yeah, so that's it from me for today. I don't think that I will be able to edit this and upload it in time before joining the Zoom meeting. So you probably only learn about it afterwards or you already know and I will see you there. So I hope that you enjoyed this little episode. I feel a little bit rusty <laughs> because I haven't been on here, which feels like an age, even though it was like two or three weeks. Um, but I hope that, that I was able to entertain you just a little bit and I will talk to you soon. If you are looking out for crochet content during the summertime, then hop over to Ellie Starry Eyes. Ellie, she is doing a week of crafting at the moment. So every day she's posting a little bit about how she's incorporating her crafty life into her everyday life, into her schedule. And You're all very busy. You're all going to yarn festivals. I haven't been to one yet. Not a single proper one yet. Yeah. And you know, I'm really happy for you. And you know what I really am happy about as well is when you're sharing your trips. And there is one special trip right now happening. And that is Ruth from Counting Sheep. 
She's on Shetland Island or on Shetlands in the UK. And she is posting little videos of a ferry trip from Aberdeen over to Shetland and of puffins and the South Island. She's sharing her sightseeing tour and her holiday with us. So thank you, thank you. I am so thrilled to see puffins. I it's it's one of my dreams to be able to see puffins in wild in the wild like yeah. That's really it for now. I'm sure as soon as I hit the stop button, I will remember all the other things I wanted to talk about, but right now it's just too hot and I am looking forward to putting my feet up and getting an ice cream or something. <laughs> so I will talk to you soon. And to some of you, I will talk to you in half an hour from recording time. And uh, yeah, keep well, keep safe, keep crafting. Bye. Mm -hmm.